Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Hugh and I'm restoring an Austin Healey 104 to concourse condition. The project to date is reasonably well along the way. It's um, fairly close to the assembly stage. Uh, I need to prepare the car in this video for uh, painting, uh, which is the final base coat and and uh, clear coats. I need to build a uh, gazebo. Uh, well, it's a gazebo, but it's a paint booth, and uh, set it up in the correct format for um, six coats of paint. I've rebuilt, actually, the engine, the gearbox, the overdrive, the front end, back end, and everything else in between, including brakes, brake pedals, master cylinder, and so on. I can't start the assembly until I've actually painted the chassis. The chassis has to be the same colour as the outside panels. And in this case it's going to be the metallic colour Healy Blue because that's the colour that my wife likes and I like. So this video will show the preparations for that and in the next one hopefully the installation and set up of the uh, paint booth, the painting and the net result which I'm hoping will be uh, pretty good. The Healy came from Seattle, Washington uh, 20 years ago, it was imported into Australia. I live on the northwest side of Sydney and uh, the weather is picking up so the painting should be good. The pictures that you saw at the beginning uh, are the work that I've done over the years in, in preparation. The chassis uh, has been made, handmade by myself, uh, and uh, quite a lot, a number of the panels. Uh, some of the panels I bought from local suppliers, and the rest I made up where I possibly could, and there are some of the old existing panels in it. And that work you can see in picture format as I hadn't taken any movie film of the actual production of that. So most of the panel beating, uh, welding is already complete. The outer panels still require quite a bit of work and you'll see that actually in a section of this video. Uh, they're aluminium and uh, along with a smattering of mild steel panels, for instance the bonnet and the boot. Uh, mild steel the outer wings, which are the quarter panels, are mild steel, and the shroud, the front shroud and the rear shroud, uh, are made of aluminium. These will be prepared in due course, and I don't expect to have them ready uh, to do much with uh, for about six to eight, maybe ten months. The idea is to uh, install the uh, electrical cabling, the front end, back end and so on. Uh, put it on wheels, lower it and then put the engine in. And then hopefully have it um, calibrate the engine and have it running. I want to thank Resto Nation for the guidance of the electrical cable routing, uh, which uh, was quite difficult to get hold of until I actually saw the movie. So I'm not sure of your name, but thank you very much for that. Um, I've put the chassis on a rotisserie. This is important because uh, when I had it on a, on a stand, a table stand, uh, I couldn't get underneath properly to do much of anything. So I know that the painting is important to be able to rotate it and so that I can get access to all the nooks and crannies of uh, the chassis itself. The rotisserie will also come in handy when I want to do the electrical wiring and a lot of the fitting of the bits and pieces and paraphernalia that are associated switchology and, uh, and so on with that. So I'm really pleased that I don't have to bend down and climb underneath and 
drill, do whatever is necessary uh, when I can rotate it and keep it at some sort of comfortable height. So that's really great. Uh, so I want you to join me on this journey and um, provide some comments down below and uh, tell me what you think and uh, hopefully give me some constructive criticism as well. That's the engine cover, and you can see down here um, the new section I've had to weld on. I hope that's in focus. Um, so I've had to repair that and also make a new prop shaft cover, which is this little one here. Um, So, I think I'm quite happy with that. I'm ready for the base coat, which will happen in the next couple of days. But I'm in the process of um, making a uh, paint booth from the gazebo. This is the other side of the gearbox cover. And you see, again, I've had to replace that because it was all corroded away. New cover. 
and uh, if I show you the old um, prop shaft cover yeah. you can see there Okay. And again outside. So the idea is to put a uh, paint booth right where the car is. So it'll be fun putting that together tomorrow, hopefully. And uh, it's about 27 degrees here at the moment. Centigrade, that is. And uh, so it's quite warm but it's uh, a good temperature for uh, painting so they tell me on the data sheets This part is the uh, the rear shroud. <clears throat> Had to make new um, a new uh, area here. This is all rotted away to nothing, and uh, so that's had to be replaced. I've had to weld that twice now because uh, it's very awkward to weld from the inside, and this is sort of the beginning of the the grinding down. So, uh, and then we get to the weld proper. So I've had to give it a stronger boost with the welder and uh, to establish a more solid weld, which hopefully is all, once I dress that back, there's enough grip on the inside to take that without cracking. So again, um, compared to what it was, I'm quite pleased with that. So um, there was quite a bit of damage to the rear section. Most of that's already been repaired. Hello Diesel. And that's it. And here's my next door neighbour. This is for YouTube. Oh, good. You're going. <laughs> that might just be a segue. Uh -huh. Hello, Tom. Say hello to the people. How are you going? I guess you want some food. Is that right? That might just be a segue into uh, completing my first YouTube film. Hope you enjoyed it. Lots more to come. <clears throat> uh, so I'll see you then. Yeah, you want something to eat? Hmm? You hungry? Okay. Come on then.